Miami-Dade firefighters, in your 457 deferred comp plan or your FRS investment plan, do you use the self-directed account? If you're not, are you thinking about it? Well, then this video might be for you. Hi, I'm Alan DC, and our firm, North Star Financial Planners, helps Miami-Dade firefighters make better decisions with their money. Now, for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about with these self-directed accounts, that's not a problem. Let me quickly explain. A self-directed account is an account, usually with a large brokerage firm, that is linked to your core account at your nationwide deferred comp plan or your FRS investment plan. Sometimes these are called SDO accounts, which stands for self-directed option, because you get to decide what investment choices you put in it from the vast array of investments available at the brokerage firm. And of course, that's the big advantage of having an SDO, having many more investment choices. But here's the other side of that coin. I believe for most people, an SDO is a great way to get mediocre or even subpar returns. And having all those investment options for most people actually makes matters worse, not better. So why is that? Well, it really has a lot to do with basic human behavior. Here's an example. Let's say I go into a room full of people and I ask them, raise your hand if you think you're a better than average driver. Now, how many hands are gonna go up? Right, virtually everybody believes that they are better than the average driver out there. So a majority of the hands in that room are gonna go up. Even though it's highly unlikely in a room full of people that most of them are better than average. Well, we see the same thing with investing, but the truth is with investing, the average investor just isn't very good. Take a look at how the average investor actually does compared to what the market is willing to give. A recent study by Dalbar, a financial research firm, has shown that from January 1st, 1997 until December 31st, 2016, a 20-year span of time, the S&P 500 index, which tracks U.S. large company stocks, went up 7.68%. In this study, Dalbar found that the average equity investor actually only got a return of 4.79%. And the gap in bond markets is even greater, where Dalbar cited the Bloomberg Barclays U.S. Aggregate Bond Index that went up 5.29% over the same time frame. The average fixed income investor only got 0.48%. So converting that to dollars, had an investor at the beginning of this time frame invested $100,000 and got the S&P 500 return over that 20 years, they would have had $439,334 at the end. But if they got the average return, they would have ended up with just $254,916. And if they had invested in bonds and got the index return, they would have had $280,188 as compared to only $110,051 with the average investor return. Now we believe that most of this difference in return is attributable to bad investor behavior, such as selling stocks after market downturns or emphasizing a strategy that tries to pick good stocks over bad stocks, or just thinking they have the ability to time the market and get out before a market drop. Now here's the thing. Dalbar publishes that study every year. And every year we see the same sort of disparity between what the market is willing to give versus what the average investor actually gets. So we come across firefighters that are utilizing SDO accounts because they believe that they'll be able to pick better stocks or mutual funds from that larger list at the brokerage firm than the funds offered by their deferred comp plan or their FRS investment plan. Unfortunately, actual results don't seem to really back up that theory very well. So beyond these bad behaviors, we believe that there is another major reason having an SDO account could be very dangerous. And that's that we find most investors lack what we think is the most important component, which is having a proven, time-tested investment strategy. And even if you do have a good strategy, what it really comes down to is how disciplined you are as an investor and how well you stick to it. Don't have a strategy? Probably that's your first sign then that you might want to avoid an SDO account. 
And it's probably also a good reason to talk to somebody about maybe developing one. Want to talk about the right investment strategy for you or how you can utilize your plan better? Give us a call for a second opinion. We'll talk about where you are now and where you'd like to be and what the gaps are. Then we'll evaluate if your current situation has you on track. If it is, we'll tell you so and recommend that you stay the course. If it's not, we'll show you what you might want to do and evaluate if we're the right advisor for you. In any case, we think it'll be worth the call. Hey, thanks for watching and stay safe. If you want your own complimentary copy of retired Battalion Chief Gary Gonzalez's book that's all about the intricacies of how to retire from Miami-Dade fire, give us a call or drop us a line.